In this video, I'll show you how to download your Harry Potter digital audiobooks to your computer and then to your MP3 player. We start off on the Pottermore Shop homepage and navigate to a product page where you can buy your Harry Potter digital audiobook for yourself or as a gift. Here you can also listen to or download samples of this digital audiobook to make sure that they work on your computer and device. Now I'll move to the My Books page. This is where you'll find your digital audiobooks once you've purchased them and is the first step towards listening to them. Pick the digital audiobook that you want to download by clicking Select before choosing the Your Computer option. Your download should now start automatically, though you can trigger it manually if required. If you're asked whether you want to save or open your file, choose Save and be sure to take note of where you are saving it on your computer. Digital audiobook files can be quite big, so it may take a little while for your file to download. Once the download has completed, you'll notice that it's in a zip file format. This is because each chapter of your Harry Potter digital audiobook is represented by one MP3 file. To access these MP3s, you'll need to unzip the file by right-clicking on it and selecting Extract All. Once you have access to your digital audiobook files, you can transfer them onto your MP3 player. First, I'll show you how to do this with a Sony Walkman. Start up MediaGo on your computer and drag the MP3s from where you saved them into MediaGo. Once this import has been completed, you can simply plug your Sony Walkman into your computer and drag the files onto the device within MediaGo. If you want to transfer your digital audiobook files onto your Apple iPod, iPhone or iPad, simply start up iTunes and drag your files into the Music section. Once the files have been imported, highlight them all while holding down Shift on your keyboard and clicking on the first one and then the last one before right-clicking and selecting Get Info. Click on the tab entitled Options and make sure that Media Kind is set to Audiobook and that the Remember Position and Skip When Shuffling options are ticked. You can then transfer your digital audiobook files onto your device by syncing in the usual way. If you have a different brand of MP3 player, Please follow the manufacturer's guidelines on how to transfer music onto your device. If you have any further questions about how to access your purchase on your device, then the chances are they're covered in the help section of the Pottermore shop, where you'll find a comprehensive collection of frequently asked questions designed to make your experience easier and more pleasurable. I hope you found this video useful and thanks for your interest in the Pottermore shop, the only place where you can buy the official ebook and digital audiobook versions of the Harry Potter novels.